Do you ever catch yourself making excuses? Do you know that you make excuses? I don't have time. I don't know how. I can't change. This is too much for me. I don't have enough courage. This is not my cup of tea. For 2017, one of my goals was to create videos. I wanted to use it as a branding exercise. And before I even set it up as a goal, I thought long and hard as to how do I create videos? What is the kind of messaging that I would like to give? Um, how frequently do, you, do I want to do it? And how long do I want to do it? I thought of all those and I have set up a goal for myself. However, it took me almost 11 months for me to get to actually publishing my first video. What happened? This was my self-set goal. Nobody had told me what to do. Nobody had asked me to prepare videos or put a gun on my head. It was entirely my decision. However, I couldn't really get myself to take action. Looking back, I realized my why to create videos was not big enough. And excuses are my reasons to justify it. Benjamin Franklin said, he who is good for making excuses is seldom good for anything else because excuses are the reasons we invent to defend our behavior or lack of it for not doing things or to negate our responsibility. And because we make excuses, we often end up not doing things that we really wanted to do. When you keep repeating excuses to yourself, the consequences are creation of mental blocks, becoming judgmental, comparing yourself with others, pessimism, paranoia, and the most difficult of them all, regret. I never wanted any regret in my life. So when I was reviewing the goal six months later, I realized to find out reasons why I was not able to go ahead with the goal that has been set by myself. And I decided to look towards science, which is like hacking into my brain and figure out what was going on there. Apparently, unless you align your goal with your core value, something that you deeply believe in, it will not become a possibility. And even if you are pushing to make it possible, you may not be able to sustain it. You may lose focus or even interest in it. Then I asked myself, what are my core values? What is it that I really deeply believe in? The topmost value for me is helping people and I believe that's my calling. The second topmost is to become a better person. Since values drive actions, if I'm able to align my goal to my core value, in this case, making videos to help people and also to become a better person, then my goal can become a reality. Once I understood the value hierarchy and changed my perception towards it, taking action became very easy. In fact, I was able to shoot, edit and publish my first video within a week's time. The point I'm trying to make is that if I can't link my goal to my highest value, then I will not do it. And this is an absolute truth. If you caught up with a similar buzz in your head, then ask yourself these questions. What do I really want, but have not been able to take the first step to get it? Do these align with my core values? Here I'm making an assumption that you already are aware of what your top values are. Try and see if this can fit into that. You may have to tweak a little bit, change a sentence or a para or paraphrase or whatever you can do. In my case, initial thoughts were that I will create videos as a branding exercise. But later when I decided to align it with my values, it became I want to create videos because I want to help people and become a better person in doing so. So connect your goals with your values. Stop waiting for the right time to take action because when the time comes you never know whether it is right and you never know how you will be feeling at that time do you have any more ideas tried and tested ones do share them in the comment section below know this if it is important to you i mean really important to you then you will find a way otherwise you will find excuses so what's your choice thank you so much for watching like it share it subscribe to my channel if you're not already and keep sending me all your positive vibes. I absolutely love to get your feedback. I read every one of them and I'm taking every one of them into account as I come out with new topic every single week. Thank you once again. 
have a wonderful time i'll see you in the next video bye